In this video I'm going to demonstrate an automatic station stop system. The system stops a train at a station or in front of a red light and it stops it in the same position regardless of the speed of the train as it enters the station. Asymmetric DCC is used by the Lens ABC system to slow down and stop trains. This is the sort of circuit which is used to generate asymmetric DCC. I'm going to start the train and set it to run at 60 miles an hour. Now I'll set the speed to about 40 miles an hour. You can see that the train stops correctly in the station. And now I'll set to about 80 miles an hour. This is in fact the scale speed that's shown on the speedometer. I hope you can see that the train stopped at the same position regardless of entry speed of 40, 60 or 80 scale miles per hour. Here's the block diagram of the system. Two optical detectors measure the speed of the train. From that speed, the correct delay is calculated before the switch is made to asymmetric DCC and the train slows down and stops in the station. At the trip point, the pick measures the speed at which the train's going and calculates the delay and this LED is on during the delay. Now I'll show you what happens if the system is not switched on. I've set the speed to about 40 miles an hour and I'm going to stop it at the trip point manually and you'll see that it stops at this point here, well short of the platform. Now I'll do the same at 60 miles an hour and I'll stop the train manually at the trip point. And you can see that the train stops here, again short of the platform. Repeating this at 80 miles an hour And now the train stops here. This shows the effect diagrammatically. We're plotting stopping distance against entry speed. The deceleration rate is always set by CV4, regardless of the speed of the train. Slower trains stop sooner. We can correct for this by delaying the start of asymmetric DCC for the slower trains. But to do this, we need to know the speed of the train. There are two photodetectors in the track bed, spaced 50 millimeters apart. Here's the first one, and here's the second. The photodetectors are, in fact, phototransistors. And we measure the time that the train takes between the two photodetectors, and from that we calculate the required delay before we switch on the asymmetric DCC. Here's a graph showing the time delay before asymmetric DCC is switched on. You can see that at 40 miles an hour the delay is 4.8 seconds, at 60 miles an hour the delay is 1.8 seconds, and at 80 miles an hour there's no delay at all. When the speed of the train has been established, a lookup table is used to set the appropriate delay. In order to calculate the delay before the asymmetric DCC switches in, I timed the stopping distance between the trip point and the stopping point at 40 miles an hour, the stopping point at 60 miles an hour, and the stopping point at 80 miles an hour. And from those values, I deduced the delays that were needed before the asymmetric DCC switched in. 
Here's the circuit which operates the system. It's based on a PIC microcontroller. And this is fed by the two photo detectors. And at the, the point at which the train must switch to asymmetric DCC, this MOSFET switches off and this power Zener diode reduces the positive pulses by 3 volts, which invokes the lens ABC slow down and stop. In order to calibrate the system, I use this speedometer. It uses two optical detectors set in the track bed, the first optical detector and the second optical detector. These are light dependent resistors. The PIC microprocessor calculates the time that the train takes between the two sensors and calculates the speed in scale miles per hour. Other locos can use the system but their CV4 value has to be adjusted.